hello everyone it's me somebody welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you the process of fairy light photography in photoshop editing so this one is the previous image and after editing that you are getting these type of things in this photo you are getting this one is overexposed but i want to fix it out and how to do that i made a preset for you guys for fixing up and the output is like that hope that you will enjoy this video if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications let's jump into the tutorial go to the file and open up here is the image which i got this one yesterday last night actually with johnny brother and after that here i got this image and this one is too much favorite to me that's why i just uh, i didn't delete this one and i want to edit this one for you guys and i made a preset for you guys and i got output which is uh, not perfect but near to perfect press ctrl j and for the backup purpose and go to the filter camera filter you know camera filter is a plugins of the photoshop if you want to get the download link in your version of the photoshop or camera or filter please check out my video description i'm using the creative cloud version this is the by default in the creative cloud version but if you are the user of the cs version you have to download it manually and set it up manually go to the load settings options from here small settings and here the light which is urban light 2 and you are getting like that if you need you can change the blacks and other stuffs let's see the settings temperature minus 23 tint plus 27 minus 23 for the cool effects and here the exposure and contrast i didn't touch and highlight minus 43 shadow plus 100 if you need you can change it up you have that assumption to change it out and blacks minus 33 variance plus 11 and the vibrance minus 11 and the saturation minus 55 so vibrance is a mid-tone if you need you can change it out if i need like that so minus 46 not good but if i made it moderated it will be good enough good and the tone curve next one here i made it like that for the matte effect i made it like that after that the green one i didn't touch that and the red uh, green i just little bit touched that here just made it a little bit upper and the blue one i made it like this so you can set it up or you can change it up if you take this one in a downside it will be more warmer or cyan type if you take it in a upper side it will be more like the bluish so after that here is the detailing options 48 and the luminance of noise reduction 25 rest of the thing is good and luminance of noise reduction don't make it upper 50 otherwise it will be spoiled your photographs here the hue saturation and luminance hue value so hue started red hue started with a pink and end in a orange that's why i just made it minus 43 little bit pink type but orange here uh, orange started in a red ends in a yellow and minus 46 is the orange value this one is the hue so yellow plus 15 i made it a little bit greenish type. that's why i just made it like that and plus 23 for the green and aqua minus 36 just because of i made it sea green and the blue 82 you are getting here the left side that means minus value for the cyan and plus value for the purple so i that's why i just made it minus 82 and the purple i made it minus 43 and magenta plus 20 saturation i made it plus 10 in orange and yellow plus 33 and aqua plus 57 so purple minus 75 and the magenta minus 88 luminance i didn't touch that and split toning you know that split toning is that splitting things which is the divided with the highlights and shadow so highlights value color and the shadow value color here the highlights value color is here the highlight value color is zero and the saturation 17 don't need to make this one like that but shadow here 191 and saturation 10 no lens correction issues and uh, here i made it a little bit dehaze like that if i make it hazy no this one is not good but uh, here if i made it dehaze it will be more prominent 
after that camera calibration three primary colors red green and blue here the hue that is 57 plus 23 saturation and hue green minus 20 and minus 29 and hue minus 6 that's why just making it like uh, cyan type or teal type and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and give you the final output before one and after one you're getting nice effect and which is really cool for you guys and the first one that is not good but in this photo you're getting the moderated type color though this one is overexposed but this one is uh, like a uh, feel you are getting over here that means uh, when you are using the uh, fairy light sometimes it should be or it may be burn or overexposed but in this photo you are getting this one is moderated but artistic look and i do love that that's why i just made the preset for you guys and i would like to share with you if you want to get the download of this preset please check out my video description and there is lots of assumption to change it out according to your photographs so that you'll be benefited for these tutorials and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye